Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Got one. Let's go. Get that. Get the net free. Oh, oh, I got something. Holy cow! I got something. I got something. Oh my gosh. Okay, he said okay. <laughs> All right, get that one first. I gotta take my coat off. It's getting, it's getting hot with all this chaos. All man. this action. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take us towards the reef, and then we'll reset. So every, everyone reel up. Oh man. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, he hit on the way down, dude. Oh man, it's uh, so much fun having uh, folks out on the water who aren't used to this kind of fishing, and just seeing their reaction, getting doubles, triples, getting fish on the boat. Uh, just incredible time uh, out in CQ, bottom fishing. Uh, man, we, we went for uh, sea bass. Uh, we got a big cabazon out of, out of the trip, lingcod, uh, lots of rockfish that we released. Went for halibut for a little bit. But um, yeah, in this video, I, I want to I show and I want to talk about the importance of having a drift plan. A lot of times when you're when you're targeting bottom fish, you're focused on you know a rocky area. You're focused around structure, um, in this case a reef off of uh, Kaidaka Point uh, that we were really keyed in on. And for success, it's really important to have like a great drift plan so that you can cover all of uh, all the water really effectively and have lots of success. All right, so what are we talking about with the drift plan? So. What you see here is actually the, um, the map or the tracking feature of my Navionics app uh, and it shows basically where I've been and I use this while, um, while we're drifting uh, to give me an indicator of whether the path I'm on is going to cover right over like the most optimal part of the reef that I want to fish. And so it's really important to pick up and move if you're drifting the wrong way and you know exactly uh, where you want to be in that drift, where you're catching fish, where you're marking fish, and make sure you're lined up uh, with the tides and currents to, to do exactly what you want um, to get into some fish. I need to check where I am in the drift here, because I feel like the tide is like changing a bunch. Oh yeah, we're drifting the other way, it did change. Uh, take us to the other side and drift back this way. We're, we're kind of off the reef at this point. Yeah, that's better. Yep, there we go. Oh, me too. Double. Oh, that's one. Big one, dude. Oh. Keep fighting, kid. Keep fighting. Come on, tip up. Let's go. Just gonna come up come on, go. easy, easy. Wait, net it, net it, net it, net it. Net it, net it. Let's go. A wing? Yes. Oh we need to measure him. He might be long enough, dude. He's 20. He's 25, dude. He's one under. Oh my god. Oh my god. You don't need to reel all the way up. You know what? I think this is actually why we've been having good luck. Oh wow. Oh my god. <laughs> what? This guy. What? They're 49 or I don't know. Wait, the 49. Oh no. <laughs> it's true. You have you have more recently lost the Super Bowl than oh, us. Yes, we have. That still hurts a little. I'm not gonna lie. Especially like Throwing basically like having that. the game, you know, like we in hand. It. It's it's. I mean, but with Shannon, and it's the same thing we did in Atlanta. Keep it out there. Please. Yeah. So. Oh, got one. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, dude. This is, this is a nice fish. Come over here, buddy. Come over here. I'm over here. Come on. I haven't felt it's one like fish, this. Dude. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, he's fighting hard. Are you kidding me? What is that? It's a big ling, dude. Absolutely. Kyle's got all the lucky hand today. It's a big sea bass. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Oh, here he is. It's a big wing. Oh my Get him. goodness, look at the monster. Oh, what? What, what is, is that? that? It's a big... Uh, is that rockfish? Or sea that's guys? a big wing. Bring him on board. It is a big wing. He's just really oh short. Oh it's heavy. What the heck, Why dude? Oh my gosh. Wait, is that a big... Is that a big cabazon? Wait, and put it... You can keep the cabazon. That's a cabazon that's like... In, 
awesome cabazon. Is that what it is? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, it's blue. Look at the mouth. Is blue. That's a cabazon, dude. They only have to be 18 them? inches. You can keep them. What's a cabazon? That's a huge cab, dude. I've never seen one before. Do they taste good? Oh, yeah, they're like ethically good eating. How long? It just got to be 18. Oh, he's yeah, you're well over he's like, yeah, he's a keeper. Yeah, yeah, that's good a cool job. fish, man. I got to get a picture of this guy. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Already? Yep. Another bass. Yep. Dude, I gotta get herring. There's another rod right there. Those are sea bass sitting right off of there. You, normally, the I swear, normally the jigs perform better on those guys. I mean, they're right underneath us. Oh, come on. Dude. You can't, you can't keep watching it. D just use this one. We'll switch, we'll switch rods. Sure? Yeah, yeah. I'm out of. I gotta put another herring on. Let me show you how to catch. Show you how to catch fish with this. You probably are, dude. I don't doubt it. Oh, look at all those fish! Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, oh come on! Yep, You're kidding yep. me, dude. Yep. All right, it's me. I suck. That's why I'm coming here. How are you doing? Like I got. I was doing a smaller jigging motion than you, what you were doing. Here we go. Okay, the bass too. Oh, my happiness is seeing the kids. Oh, for sure. Fish, you know? 